was the night before Star Wars. And all through Naboo, not a creature was stirring, save a Gungan or two. Lightsabers were hung in Mars's castle with care, in the hopes that a young Jedi soon would be there. The Jedi had vanished to a place called Atch-2. No one in the galaxy knew quite what to do. Rey in her robes and Finn in Poe's jacket had just fought stormtroopers and caused quite the racket. Han sprang up with Chewie from inside their freighter. They had to act now. There'd be no time later. Away in the Falcon they flew like a flash. This new saga features no characters named Dash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of doom to Hosnian Prime down below. <laughs> when what to Ren's wandering eyes should appear but a boy and a girl who would show him no fear. Finn's blue lightsaber was lively and quick. Kylo knew in an instant he could beat him. No trick. The girl before him, she was another story. She gave old Kylo Ren something to worry. The girl was a scavenger sent from Jakku. Rey Skywalker, Solo, Kenobi. No one knew. She lifted the blue blade high above her head, giving the Knight of Ren something to dread. Her powers were strong but untrained in the Force. Something old Kylo could help with, of course. They fought, and they fought, till the planet exploded. Chewie rescued his friends, his bowcaster loaded. Hux saved Kylo Ren from Starkiller's destruction, while gamers played Battlefront II Resurrection. Now Rey has found Skywalker far and abroad. It's time to discover if our hero is a fraud. He beat Vader and me and a Death Star before. But that was when it started with episode four. Now this is eight, and the future looks grim. We keep guessing Ray's parents and this Snoke guy. What's with him? One sleep remains till the last Jedi is seen. Not a dry eye when Carrie Fisher is on screen. No spoilers, no leaks, no ruining for others. When the weekend has passed, we will talk with each other. We'll talk and laugh over predictions we've missed, and every so often we'll say, I figured this. So here's to Star Wars once again. Enjoy with us, Darksiders, Lightsiders, friends. And like Mace Windu screamed as he fell out of sight. Happy Star Wars to all, and to all a good, wicked as Snoke. Hey scumbags, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.